Thomas's Trusty Wheels. One day, Spencer had an important job. He was taking the Duke and Duchess to Callan Castle for Lord Callan's birthday ball. The Duke was bringing a special gift and he didn't want to be late. I'll get you to the ball on time, sir, Spencer promised, and he whistled. Peep, peep. At Knapford Station, Bertie had brought passengers for Thomas's train. The Finn controller had arrived by bicycle too. The fat controller chuckled when he saw the old bicycle. You should get a car like mine, he said. But the Finn controller shook his head. Two wheels are all best, I always say, he smiled. Two wheels, Bertie beeped. Everybody knows that four wheels are best. How can four wheels be better than six, Thomas replied. Just then, Spencer steamed in. Twenty wheels are the best, by far, he boomed. They were still arguing when Spencer remembered he had to hurry to the birthday ball. Spencer was puffing proudly down the main line when suddenly there was a hiss. Spencer had to stop. He had burst a safety valve. The Duke was worried. How are we going to get to Callan Castle on time now? He sighed. Thomas soon caught up with Spencer. Have your twenty wheels stopped working already? He teased. Spencer frowned. Now Thomas would have to take the Duke and Duchess to the ball. They climbed on board and Thomas puffed away. Six wheels to the rescue, Thomas smiled. Thomas hadn't gone far when he had to stop too. Just round at the bend, a tree had fallen across the tracks. Cinders and ashes, Thomas cried as he screeched to a halt. Sorry, Thomas called to the Duke and Duchess, but we can't carry on. Before long, Bertie beeped by. Mm-mm. Thomas showed him the tree on the line. Four wheels are best, Bertie boasted. I'll take the Duke and Duchess by road. So the Duke and his wife climbed on board. Next, it was Bertie's turn to stop. When his front tyres rolled over some pins, <laughs> the Finn controller was passing on his bicycle. I'll go and fetch help, he said. You can trust two wheels. And off he rode to find a telephone box. Minutes later, Harold came buzzing overhead. He landed safely next to Bertie. But on board, Harold called to the Duke and Duchess. I'll get you to Callan Castle. Holding on to their hats, they climbed into Harold's cockpit. Then Harold whirred away. By the evening, Spencer's safety valve had been fixed. Rocky had cleared the tracks for Thomas and Bertie had new tyres. What a day, said Thomas. And we still don't know how many wheels are best. Suddenly, there was a whirring noise in the sky. It was Harold on his patrol. Thomas smiled. It was Harold who saved the day, he peeped. And he didn't use any wheels. Hooray for helicopters, Spencer cheered.